The Dangers in My Heart. This was recommended by Noah Get the Nuke. This came out earlier this spring. He recommended it by saying if he liked The Angel Next Door's Building Rotten, and I can see why. It's another, the couple just, is the entire anime. The entire anime is just focused on one couple, and it works because it knows exactly what it's doing. I will say, comparatively, Dangers in My Heart is more the female lead fully carries the show. I can understand why they made the male lead the way he is, because if not, it wouldn't work in the way it does. Plus, because that's the way it is. The male is supposed to be very... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's not really outward. He's not outgoing, and she starts to bring out the more in him. And he's more... I don't know, I guess... Ugh. She's a complete weirdo. There we go. <laughs> Yamada Anna. I'll just call her Yamada because that's one of the main character, Ichi Kawa. Oh, is it Ichi Kawa? Maybe just calls her by her last name because of Japan. Ugh. But she carries the entire show from how weird she is. She's supposed to be the typical popular because she's she's tall. This is a very tall junior high student. <laughs> she's just like boom. That's her at a 90 degrees angle, and she's still taller than him. Well, I guess he's leaning back, but you get the idea. Just this. If I wanted to... This is the entire anime, just in this one image right here. The entire anime is just that image right there. But yes, the... As the series goes on, the two get more closer, and then... Much like the Angel Next Door, Spalding Rotten, there's no silly misunderstandings. There's no... Oh, what I do this? It, when they do happen, they're just in the main dude's head. They don't last long, and it's more there to... So that Yamada gets interested in, like, why he's acting this way. Again, she just carries this entire show. But, yeah, when he's acting distant, when he's acting like thinks he's done wrong or thinks that she's thinking this, she just gets very worried, gets up really up close to him. And, yeah, uh, I will say try and not be deterred by the first episode. The first episode does have this vibe, this, this, uh... Oh god, he's saying this, but don't worry, he's just a chinyobu. He's just got ten year old, still 10-year-old imagination syndrome, but eventually it turns into this. Ah, I am turning into a man <laughs> with feelings. Uh, yes, I do highly recommend this. There's... It's, it's just basically slice of life, rom-com, but there's more rom than com, if that makes sense. There's more focus on the romance, focus on the characters... Would I like this more than Angel Next Door? No, because I'd say these are very different. Like I said, with Angel Next Door, Spellers Run, it's very balanced. And they help each other. They get closer to each other. Whereas in this, you never really know what's going on in Yamada's head, which is the whole point. She's a weirdo. She's an airhead. She, But she does notice the obvious, like, again, when he's acting weird, when he's acting aloof, acting cold towards her. But we're always inside Ichikawa's head, we're always knowing what he's thinking, which does help. It's always from his perspective, which it does help because with Angel X Source Monster Rotten, you can kind of always tell what the female lead was thinking, despite the fact it was almost always from the male's perspective there. But Yamada herself is a nice breath of fresh air, character-wise. Like, it's rare when you see a girl who's... Like, she's a model. She's a magazine model, photo shoots, all that. Like, she even gets depressed when she kind of injures her nose because it's like, oh, no, she can't do photo shoots for a while. And then she doesn't want to disappoint people. Like, she feels very real. She feels like an actual proper airhead, not like the... I, I just say recommend watching it. Recommend watching it if you want a new rom-com, if you want to watch Indian anime that's not super explosion, super... Violent, ultra silly, like Nagatoro. Nagatoro is a never wrong com, but it's very silly, especially especially the second season so far. And I kind of had, had a break from it because I was just like, eh. but I'll get to that maybe one day. The Dangers in My Heart, I don't get the title. I really don't get the title, but I guess you have to call it something. Uh, <laughs> sorry. But yes, I do highly recommend this. Does it, would I watch the second season? Oh, definitely. Just to see more of Yamada being an airhead again. So yeah, it's nice and simple, rom-com, not, not too serious, but not too silly either. Give it a watch, see what you think. Definitely at least give it 
a few episodes before you decide, because Yamada will absolutely steal your heart and also probably your funny bone, because she's absolutely hilarious as well. But until next time, bye-bye.